Hello, welcome to another vlog. It is 20 past three on Monday. Um, starting this one a bit late because I have spent most of my afternoon trying to figure out how to use this camera. I'm just gonna move my laptop a little bit. Yeah, turns out this little piece of kit is actually quite complex to use. Um, it's funny because I obviously know how to use a camera. I know the basics of taking a photo. Um, but when it comes to video, it feels like a whole new thing. And I have spent a lot of time watching YouTube videos today. Lots of videos on the best settings um, for vlogging. So at the moment, I think, I think I've got it on like some auto setting. I, yeah, just because I was getting a bit frustrated with manual and I just wanted to get cracking with the vlog. And I figured the more I use the camera, the more I will get to grips with it and then I will become more confident with it and um, yeah, I'll be in full manual before you know it. But for the time being, let's just appreciate the improved quality of this vlog because when I watched, when I re-watched my last vlog, I just realised how bad iPhone can be, especially if you use the front facing camera, it was just shocking. So hopefully this will be a significant improvement and um, so this week's vlog is going to be a bit shorter than normal, I think, because on Wednesday we're going on holiday. So I'm only really here for today and tomorrow, and I don't think I'm going to be vlogging our holiday, or at least I'm not going to vlog in the traditional sense, because we're actually going away with some friends, and I don't feel comfortable shoving a camera in other people's faces just yet. And I know I could not vlog my friends, but I just, I don't feel like it's right to vlog someone else's holiday. And we're all going there to just like relax for five days. So yeah, it just doesn't feel right to vlog it. Based on that, I think this vlog is going to be um, centered around me packing. Um, what I'm packing, my packing technique, you know, how I pack, the whole method. So I really should get cracking with um, writing my packing list really because we're going very early on Wednesday morning and I feel like I've still got a lot of things to do. So whenever I'm going away, even if it's just for one night, I like to write a list. And when I say write a list, I mean like a physical list in a notebook. This is just some moleskin, by the way. Um, I, I, I just really like the physical act of writing out a list and crossing off the items. Also, I like to start my list a few days before I'm going away because I always find if I do my list in a bit of a panic the night before, that's when I forget things. And it'll be really crucial things like um, adapters or I'll forget. Like the other week I, when I was packing, I did it in such a rush that I um, almost forgot my pants and socks. It wasn't until I was just double checking my list, I realised, oh, I haven't put any pants in my suitcase. I also, so when I'm packing, I obviously go through the list and I cross each item off. And it's so weird. I feel like every single item that goes in the suitcase has to be on the list. So if I'm going through the list, I'm putting things in the suitcase and I think of something, say like I'm packing and I'm like, oh, I forgot to put sunglasses on the list and I put them in my suitcase. Even though I've just put the sunglasses in the suitcase, I will write sunglasses on the list and cross it off just for this weird peace of mind. Me and my dad were talking about it the other day actually because he does exactly the same thing. He, he's not satisfied unless everything on that list, everything in the suitcase is on the list and it's crossed off. And I totally get that, totally, totally get that. Um, it's really good to have a visual aid I think. I could never be someone who relies on a list on their phone or just doesn't do it using a list. So, I better write my list really. Oh, also, one more thing. These glasses might look a bit purple because they have a um, filter in them to uh, block the blue light from screens, which is great, but, it, but when light, like natural light reflects off my sunglasses, it, they look purple. So every time I'm, whenever I'm trying to have a photo taken wearing my glasses or a video, like this, it reflects purple. It's really, um, it's a bit odd. They look like something uh, Elton John would have worn.
need someone to spend time with to give and share all my life so before one can pack one must get the suitcases and where do the suitcases live in the loft where all things go to gather dust like the christmas decorations and god knows what else is up there why are lofts always horrible <laughs> horrible places full of bugs dust and god knows what else i apologize for how echoey this might be um i didn't actually realize how echo echoey things were going to be until i started playing it back so um i have been researching uh, microphone options um, to use with this camera so hopefully in the next few weeks I'll um, the sound will improve it'll be less echoey okay so I have got the suitcase out I have got my list and I'm ready to pack so I'm going to go through what I'm packing clothes wise and um, I might do beauty in a separate video. I might do like a holiday hair and beauty in a different video. But this is only a five day holiday and it's not going to be the type of holiday where we're going out to lots of restaurants. It's very much a sit at the villa by the pool kind of holiday. So I haven't really planned exact outfits and I haven't really planned to pack anything fancy. My idea behind this packing is just taking um, lots of things that can mix and match so that I've just got loads of just easy combinations that I can throw on. So it mainly centres around two pairs of shorts, two trousers and three dresses and then some tops incorporated that can all be interchanged. I'm going to start with dresses. So the first dress is this really plain uh, simple black slip dress from Vince. I'm not normally a slip dress kind of person because I find a lot of them to be quite clingy and I just, because of the nature of a slip dress, I just, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable in those sort of clingier shapes. Whereas this one, although it does go in a little bit here, it, um, it sits quite straight. Sorry that you can't see my feet, I'm just conscious that the further I get away from the camera, the more echoey I am and the less like the harder it is to hear me so you won't be able to see the shoes that I'm styling it with so I apologise for that I think this dress will be quite nice if we're just sat outside eating dinner for the evening I mean it's a black slip dress what more can you say I think this will be really good worn with just like um, you know just flip flops I also think it'd be quite cool to um, contrast it a little bit with dad sandals not everyone's cup of tea, but I do quite like how they look with more feminine dresses. Dress number two. So this is from a brand called, Dean's just outside waving at me. This is a, from a brand called Nice Things Paloma. And the woman who owns this brand is the mother of the woman who owns Paloma Wool. And this dress was a collaboration between the two. It's a linen and viscose blend. So it's, it feels really nice and soft, feels very breathable. Um, not too clingy, I I mean I've, I've been dying to wear this all summer but it hasn't been quite warm enough. Um, nice thick strap and a little slit up the front. I think just like a really easy to wear dress, just one of those ones where you just put it on and you don't really think about it. I don't really, I don't normally wear orange but I, I mean I don't even think I've ever worn orange but in the summer I am drawn to colour a bit more and this is more of like a burnt orange and also I'm an absolute sucker for gingham. I love the gingham print. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why is she taking that dress on holiday with her? This isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Um, I am quite partial to a very large voluminous dress. This probably doesn't scream relaxing holiday, does it? However, I just got it and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I just, I'm desperate to wear it. So I'm taking it with me on holiday in the hope that I might get the chance to wear it. Maybe in the evening or something. Um, also, I'd quite like to take some photos of it for Instagram. So um, I'll probably do that while I'm away. It's from a designer called Sophie Dore. Her surname's spelled D, 
D apostrophe H double O R E. You know when you just you you get something that you've really really wanted for ages and then you're just so so desperate to wear it and you just love it so much. That's me right now with this dress. Um, so it's coming with me just you know just in case. Moving on to the more practical thing. This is where things start to interchange and all can be worn together. So these shorts are from Arquette and I'm taking this colour and then I'm also taking the black. I bought both pairs last year, last summer, wore them so much when we were away in Australia. They're really, really good um, to wear like this, just with like a vest. They are quite, um, they're quite thin, you know, they're not like a thick denim short, they're a cotton twill and they're, uh, they're loose, you know, they're not tight. Always good when it's hot. So the idea is that I'll take both of these, the black and the cream pair, and then I'm taking this white vest from Vince, I'm taking this black vest from Weekday, and then I'm taking a white t-shirt from Arquette, and then I'm taking a black t-shirt from Arquette. So all of these things can be chopped and changed. I've just popped on the black pair with the black vest so you can see for reference what they look like. The black pair actually fit slightly looser than the cream pair. I think it's because I've worn the black pair so much. What I like about this style of short is that they are not only super comfortable and quite loose, but they're ideal for chucking on over a bikini or a swimming suit. When we went to Australia for Christmas, when we were on the beach, I pretty much lived in these shorts and a bikini top because sometimes, like when you've been on the beach all day, you literally just want to chuck something on that like covers up your bottom half sometimes and I think these shorts are really good for that. I could just chuck these on like, with a pair of Birkenstocks or some flip flops and just feel okay like quickly pop into a shop or do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you don't really want to walk around in your bikini after you've been at the beach all day. So these are ideal for that. Okay, moving on to trousers. So these, so I'm, I'm taking a couple of pairs of trousers with me just for the evening. Maybe we could go for a walk or we're sat outside eating dinner in the evening and it cools down. Or maybe I want to protect my legs from mozzies. I've tried to move the camera down just so you can see the bottom of the trousers slightly. These are from Isabel Morant. They, I bought them in the sale from a shop called Mohawk General Store. It's an online store based in the US, but they do have physical stores in the US. I am such a big fan of theirs, I love all of the brands that they stock, they stock so many cool brands from LA and when I, I had my eye on these trousers and when I saw they went into the sale I was like yep yeah, I'm gonna buy those, didn't even like occur to me that maybe customs and all that wasn't tied in with the shipping cost and got stung really bad by DHL when they came to deliver them but I've learnt my lesson now and I'm, I'm glad I've got them, they are cotton. I'm a big fan of like oversized mannish tailoring and um, I've already worn these loads here in the UK so I know that I'm going to get lots of wear out of these and also so I can pair these with literally any of the tops that I'm taking. The black t-shirt, the white t-shirt, the white vest, even like a bikini or a, a bathing suit. Um, the possibilities are endless. I feel like this is a real like foolproof outfit and a foolproof way of packing because everything is of a similar kind of colour, a similar sort of texture, vibe, shape and it all just works together. I'm getting really hot and sweaty. I've had to close the windows so that you can't hear any noise from outside but it's very hot today. Whew. Um, so next pair of trousers are these acne linen trousers. I think linen trousers are a bit of a no-brainer when you go on holiday, really, aren't they? Um, so I don't really say much about these. These are the ones that I got tailored last week. So you will have seen these already. Um, again, just, I can wear these with any of the other tops I've packed. Um, I quite like them paired with Birkenstocks and, yeah, linen trousers. What more is there to say, really? That is it for clothing, I believe. Actually, while I've just been doing this, I've just thought to myself I could really do with maybe packing a an oversized shirt, maybe just to chuck on in the evening or throw on over the top of a bikini or a swimming suit. You know, sometimes when you come out of the pool as well, you just want to pop something on while you're sat in the sun. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to dig around and I'm going to try and look for an oversized shirt to pack as well. 
let's talk swimwear. So I am, I'm quite bad when it comes to packing swimwear because I do enjoy changing my swimwear a lot. I'm, I'm such a big fan of swimwear. Like I love so many different types of swimwear that I end up packing enough for a different style each day. I know that's, that's bad, but it's just, it's just, I just really like swimwear. So I've packed three bikinis. Um, and I think I need to pack a swimsuit as well, just in case um, I'm jumping in the pool. Don't want any accidents, do we? So the first one is um, from Hansa G. I've had this for, gosh, over a year now and love it. I, Hansa G won't be for everyone because they are, they, they have that one size fits all system, which might not work for some people, but it is extremely stretchy. And I really like Hansa G because I quite clearly do not have much of a chest area and I don't have to worry about like filling a Hansa G bikini. I'm not going to try these on, just I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm not confident enough to just like prance around in my bikini on YouTube just yet. Next one is from Samso and Samso. It's um fairly inoffensive, you know, just quite a nice simple blue gingham, gingham. the top has um, one strap as well. So that is, and it's like a, um, I don't know if seersucker is the right term, it feels very textured. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And then my third bikini, I told you I liked gingham, didn't I, is from a brand called Peony. So I first discovered Peony when we were in Australia for Christmas because I, I don't know if Peony is Australian, but it, it might be, it must be. I'm going to Google it. Yep, Australian. <laughs> All the good stuff comes out of Australia. <laughs> um, so yeah, I saw Peony loads when we were over there and did really fall in love with the brand. But because we were only over there for five weeks, it just seemed really silly for me to be buying new swimwear when I wasn't really gonna get much wear of it, which is silly logic really, because I keep my swimmer and I wear it every summer. So anyway, this um, this summer, Peony very kindly uh, reached out to me and offered to gift me a new style from their sustainable collection. And this is made from recycled polymide. I told you I liked gingham, didn't I? Dean keeps waving at me from outside. Um, so this is, this isn't going to be like a very practical swimsuit for sitting in the pool, but it's a very pretty swimsuit for sitting by the pool. <laughs> um, I only say that because you know if you jump in the pool, sometimes your um, top lifts up a bit, you know what I mean? And the bottoms are, they're quite high-waisted, a lot more high-waisted than I would normally wear, especially because I'm quite short, sometimes I worry that this style um, shortens my torso a bit, but um, I, I actually quite like them. I, I popped them on, had a prance around in them, and I, I think I can get on board with the really high, it's not the high waist actually that's the issue, it's more the high cut leg, it's more the Pamela Anderson Baywatch high cut leg that I struggle with. But I think, I think I'm gonna roll with it. For shoes, I'm taking my black Birkenstocks with me, these, these aren't the black, uh, like, rubbery foam ones that you can get. These are the actual, like, Arizona style, but they are fully black. Um, and then, Javianas, because a no-brainer, really, aren't they? And then, my dad's sandals, because I would like to go on a few walks, and I think the nearest supermarket to where we're staying is like a 10 minute walk, so these would be really good for that. Um, also, I think someone very kindly left me a comment telling me how to pronounce this brand, because I've been saying Suicoke. I think it's, I, oh, I feel so bad, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was something like Sukoke, maybe, something like that. Um, but yeah, these are super comfortable and easy to walk in. And then my final pair of shoes is a pair of trainers and these are from Muji. I think I'll travel in these so I'll only need to pack those three pairs of black sandals. 
These are super comfortable. They're so plain as well. Like look how just like nondescript they are. They remind me of the trainers that you would have got from, um, do you remember? I don't know if anyone, I, think, I don't know if this is just a UK thing, but we had a shop called Woolworths. It wasn't, it was kind of similar to the Woolworths that you get in the US and in Australia, but it, you'd always go there to buy your PE trainers and plimsolls and things like that. And you'd always be able to get really like basic trainers from there. This reminds me of those. In terms of accessories, I'm going to take a hat because um, it's obviously very important to protect your face from the sun, um, especially uh, now that fine lines are starting to appear. I'm taking this one from Arquette. I quite like this one because it's not hugely brimmed. Sometimes I feel like a, a really wide brim hat looks kind of dis out of proportion on me. So I shall take this hat and then for my bag, I'm going to take Loewe basket bag and then inside here I've got string bag, couple just in case, you know, for supermarkets. And then I've got this bag from Trademark, which um, is such a good beach bag because it's like a wipe clean material. And although it doesn't look much, you can fit a lot in here. You can like shove a book, sun cream, flip flops, sunglasses, phone, like you can, you can get a lot in here. So this is a really good one to take down to the beach because it doesn't matter if it gets dirty or wet. I've never really been a sunglasses person. Sunglasses have always been such an afterthought for me. So um, I don't really have anything interesting to show you because I have probably exclusively worn Ray-Ban Wayfarers for the past five or six years. I find that this shape works for my face um, they're such a classic and you can just, you don't have to think about them, you can just put them on and you know they're going to work with all outfits. However, last summer I was introduced to the, a sunglasses brand called Monk London and I acquired this pair from them. Um, I don't pick sunglasses, when I am looking at sunglasses I find it really difficult to pick for my face shape. Um, and I like these because they've got a flat, because they're flat here as opposed to being entirely round because round sunglasses are not good for this round face of mine um, and the tortoiseshell is quite nice it's um, it's just like an it's a nice point of difference when you're wearing a really plain outfit it just jazzes it up a little bit back in bed. So this is the majority of the packing done. This is my side. And then this is Dean's side. I mean his technique is good, but I'm just not sure if it's as good as mine. Hmm. So this is our checked in bag. And then we are also taking on a cabin bag, just a small suitcase mainly for me to put my camera and my laptop and a few other valuables in because it gives me peace of mind knowing that that is in the cabin as opposed to being in the hold. I just feel a bit more, you know, I just, it fills me with more confidence knowing that I know where it is. And then I am using this as like my main handbag, well my only handbag. Um, there's not much in it at the moment, I've just got essentials. Um, but I'll probably put like a book and my passport and all that in there. Um, this is a like an old Aesop dust bag that I use to basically carry all of my bits that I like to travel with, um, or like my liquids. 
So these are like my, um, I guess my, I always have these on me. So yeah, I guess essentials. These are the things that I will always have with me. Eight hour cream, uh, Davines hand balm, literally the best hand cream I've ever tried. Aesop um, hand sanitizer. Um, this perfume oil, which is just brilliant, lasts so long. And then I'm, I don't normally travel with this. I'm just taking this because I want to use it as my holiday scent. And this is the, oh, I'm not gonna be able to get this one handed. This is a travel size uh, Atelier Cologne fragrance and this is Grand Neroli. I'm taking this um, just as my holiday scent because I do love the smell of Neroli. I tend to roll most things and um, the only thing I don't roll is my trousers. You might be able to see underneath here, my trousers are just all folded flat. I do this because, I don't know, I guess just habit. It's what I've always done. I just find it an easier way of packing my trousers rather than rolling absolutely everything. And then um, all tops, shorts and dresses are rolled. The only thing that isn't in this suitcase that still needs to go in is the Sophie door dress and what I'll do with that is I'll actually like fold it in half and lay it over this entire bit and then pop this over and strap it all in. I'm just sat editing this video and I cannot for the life of me find the final piece of footage in which I wrap up the video and sign off. Um, so this is me from the future signing off the video. Um, so yeah that was basically what I packed clothing wise for um, five, four, four, four and a half days in Spain. Hopefully it was of some use, um, some inspiration to any of you who might be going on a short trip soon. And yeah, feedback as always is, as always is appreciated, especially because I haven't done sort of that style of video before in which I sort of stand and try on clothes. Um, thank you for watching and also thank you for your patience. I understand that there has been a massive radio silence for me over the past few weeks. Um, I got back from Spain and I was basically pay playing catch up and didn't catch up. So I've now got a really big backlog of videos. I've still been vlogging and things, but I just haven't had the time to edit. Um, so thank you for bearing with me. I am spending this entire week editing videos. So fingers crossed next week, I will be back to a regular posting schedule. There might be a real cluster of videos all of a sudden, but then after that, we will be back to a regular regular posting schedule. So yes, thank you for watching.